Right, let's carry on looking at the camera job lot by looking at these Fujifilm Instax mini things. Ta-da! In case you don't know what I'm talking about, make sure you watch this video first, because that explains why I've bought these. No, it doesn't explain why I bought them. It explains that I did buy them, and, and I opened them up and test for the faults. So let's just refresh our memory. Instax Mini 9, light pink. It's got flashing orange lights. Purple one also has flashing orange lights. They're both the same. The Mini 9, the dark pink one, I think works, but I haven't got a film to test it. I do now. And the Instax Mini 11, the light pink one here, the lens shutter sticks, so that doesn't fully open. So I couldn't test that any further. And then we've got the Instax Mini Link, which is this fella here. That appears to charge, but I didn't have a film to test. But again, I have one now. So I think I'm going to start... Let's start on this one here. This is the one where the shutter sticks. So I'll just demonstrate that. How do you turn it on? There. There you go. doesn't fully open. And you can... Oh, there you go. So you can, you can pull it open. But even then, I don't think it took a picture. I don't know. Let's pop some batteries in it. Get rid of all of this other... Manure. Nice. Right, well, let's pop some batteries in this bad boy. I've really forgotten how to do this. It hasn't been that long. There we go. Two double A's. See, it's not fully open. And then we've got... Oh, this one does have a light here. Yeah, I didn't notice that before. So that's also got a flashing orange light. Ah, but now it, when, once that's fully open, that disappears. Okay, so it worked that time. And it's not fully open there. Yeah, I think that's just sticking, isn't it? Well, let's pop a film in. Let's just see if it actually takes photos when it's fully open. I think these are like cartridges. In which case, I, I, I hope you can, you know, take them out and use them in other ones. You know, I hope they don't spoil, do you know what I mean? Because that would be really annoying. Because these aren't cheap. Well, I bought them now, so let's pop this in. Uh, how does it go? Oh, I don't know. Not like that. Like that, I guess. Okay. There you go, I didn't open at all then. Right, let's try and take a picture of Dave. See if we can get a better one than that. How do you do that? Are you supposed to hold it that way around? I think you are. Right. Well, it's not doing anything. No. Ah, there we go. We've got a flashing light there. Let's try that again. Yeah, it clicks, and then we get a flashing light. So this has possibly got the same fault as the other ones then with the orange flashing lights. Right, so I think the shutter thing is a is a secondary fault on this. I think there's something else wrong with it. Let's open it up and see if we can figure out what's going on. Let's fix, let's fix, fix these cameras up. You know we're gonna try, even though we might just blow them up. We got the monkeys, we got the best and the best here. Yeah. 
it quick Apologies in advance For the ten years late To give Kokia a chance I only lose the time to thank you again The shit has been a special one Ten out of ten I couldn't look better without you It helps we have through single release Let's finish up and start with much respect And peace Yeah, that was a sneaky little screw hiding behind that Lucky I spotted that Right. Wow. Okay. I have no idea what I'm doing here. Look at that capacitor. Wow. That must be for the flash. 320 volts. Wow, okay. I need to be careful because I've just had batteries in this. Let's just see if there's any, any charge in that capacitor. Altimeter in voltage DC. 270 volts. Okay. I did not expect that. <laughs> I wish I had one of those things that you can connect up and that discharges it, but I, I don't. Or do I? I bought this and I don't know why. I don't know what it is. I wonder if this is one of those. I've never used it. I think it might be. I'll Google it first. Yeah, high voltage capacitor discharge pen. I'm a bit scared, to be honest. Well, let's give it a go. I don't know whether that lights up or anything, but... Right, here goes. Wish me luck. Okay. Oh, okay. Nice. Well, I think that works. Let's see what voltage we've got in here now. There we go. Eight volts. Can you even see that? Could you even see that it had 270 in? You probably don't believe me now. Right, well, I think it's safe to work on. I mean, I worry about the shutter if I can get it to actually take pictures. Why are you not working? All right, well, nothing's jumping out at me. All right, what have we got? So that's the flash. Got a chip there that's a little bit discolored. Mm, might just be flux. Oh, I don't know though. Okay, we'll bear that in mind. What's all that around there? Is that is that corrosion or is that oh what is that? Hmm. Well, I will just give that a clean. That one looks all right. What's that there? Nice little solder blob. That won't help. Let me see if I can clean that up because that I'm a bit that looks a bit that looks like a heat spot there in the middle to me. Hmm, still looks a little bit discoloured, doesn't it? Let me Google that, see what it is. Right, it's an NCH, is that N channel? IGBT for strobe flash. So I'm guessing that is what powers the flash. Hmm, um, and obviously the flash didn't work. Interesting. Let's see if there's any shorts around that chip. Multimeter in continuity. That one there? No. So that, those three are ground. Should they be ground? Okay, so I think that that is supposed to be grounded. I wonder whether it's something to do with this, what appears to be corrosion. Let's try and clean that area up a bit. Yeah, it looks like we've got a, a dull pin there, doesn't it? That one. Let's just see if the solid. 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 Well, that one moved. But I'm not sure that's connected to anything. Solid. 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 Hmm. I think it's this. And I'd be surprised if that one was making a good connection. Where does that go to? It goes to that via there. Via, sorry. So the multimeter is still in continuity. Are we getting anything from there to there? Yes, annoyingly we are. Are we getting anything from there to there? Yes, how? That's moving. Not now. Ah, no. Yes. 
Is it going to be that? I'm going to grind back a bit more and see if I can get this whole track exposed and just go straight onto it. Now I've done that, that one doesn't look very clever either, does it? Is that one going to there? No. Unless I'm not on that properly. Ah. Yeah, I wasn't on it properly. Does that look a little bit discoloured as... It does, doesn't it? Right, okay. I mean, I, I, it might not be this. I might be barking up the wrong tree, but I'm going to reflow these. those on continuity. That one's good. That one's good. Yeah, I think we're good. Right, we've got a light here. Flashing orange, which is what it was doing before, but I think that is... Oh, it's, it's gone off. Okay. Let's try it now. Obviously, there's no film in it. No, oh, same. And we have to discharge this again now, aren't I? Nice. Right, I've just been doing a little bit of research on this. And apparently, they are very picky about the batteries that are in. I mean, these are, as far as I know, these are fresh Duracells. So I don't see that they would be a problem. But, you know, let's just double check them. One point, nearly 1.7 volts, and the same on that. So yeah, th those are brand new. I just wonder whether it just doesn't like them. Because apparently it's very, very picky. I, I don't quite know why, but... So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hook this up to the bench power supply. Then it can't argue that the voltage it's getting isn't clean. Right, so we've got the bench power supply on 3.2 volts, which should be about the same as a fresh pair of batteries. Now let's power that on now. Right, so we get... Oh, we've got an orange light for a second, right? Let's open this. Okay, uh, let's try pressing this now. No, same. Right, so I don't I don't think it is that. I think I've got a, a different fault here. I think the problem is something to do with the flash. Right, let's take an, another one apart. Right, so let's have a look at this one. So this is the one that I thought was working. Why did I think it was working? Because if I've got the flashing lights. I could have sworn this flashed and took a photo first time I tested it. Not now. Right. I've got, I've got a horrible feeling then that all the, the faults on these four are going to be exactly the same. Because we've got a flashing orange light on all of them now. Let's just verify it on the other two. Make sure they're still behaving the same. They might, they might have changed as well. Ah, this is the one that I thought worked. I'm getting so confused. Right, so the purple one. Yeah, flashing orange light. Okay, ignore me. Let's try this one. Right, you can hear the flash. As soon as you turn that on, the flash, you can hear, you know, like the charging noise of the flash. Right. There you go. I think that one probably does work, but obviously there's no film in this now. Well, I'll tell you what, I'm going to put the film in it. Oh. Oh, there we go. What's that? Obviously, that's the top of the film. What, 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 where's the rest of it? Do I have to take it again? Well, what the hell is that? Okay. <laughs> no, that's exactly the same photo. Let's take a picture of something that isn't Dave. Yep, 
Yeah, I mean, that's probably about three quids worth of film there that I've just wasted. All right, so this one doesn't work. I mean, it works more than the others. <laughs> you know, I should be able to make at least one good one, shouldn't I, out of these, these few. Maybe this just needs a different printer mechanism. I'm going to have to open this up. Right, I've been on these for hours now, and I'm not getting anywhere. Apparently it's a very common problem, this orange flashing light business, and nobody really has a solution other than change the batteries for some new ones. That's not the problem. So these, I've got these two open now. This is the one that takes pictures, but the pictures come out like that. This is the one that's got the flashing light, doesn't do anything. So my thinking is here that this board is okay, it's the printing side of it that's not. I, and I don't know how the printing side of things works on these. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this board out of here and put it in here. Now they are slightly different, but they've got the same revision number on. B01RC201. Obviously the difference is this one's blue, this one's green. Now there's a load of wires on these, so it's going to be quite challenging to swap them over I think, but I'm going to try it. If I can get one working out of these, then I, I, I think I'll be reasonably happy-ish. I'm going to completely take this one out, and then I'll, I'll have to do these one wire at a time, I think. I think I can do this by memory. Right, I think that's everything. It didn't actually go too badly, I don't think. Let's just see now if that has solved the flashing lights on this. If it has, then I think I will put it back together. Oh, well that sounded promising, didn't it? Right, we've got no flashing lights. And I can hear the flash charging up. So I need to be careful I don't touch anything. Okay, we've got an orange light there. Do I dare press this? Oh, it's not going to work because the button's not in there, is it? No. Right, I think I'm going to put that one back together. I think. Well, unless it's doing the same as before. If it still prints stuff out like this, then I don't know what I'm going to do. Right, I'm just going to tidy up a bit and I'll put this back together and... Fade. Fade back in. Right, so it's gone back together okay. Uh, oh, where's the cover for it? Here it is. Right, let's pop some batteries in. Now, I fully expect that I have ruined this film because it's been exposed to light. But I'm going to put it in anyway. Maybe that it's just the first couple that have been ruined. More than likely it's all of them, but... Right, are you going to come on? 
Yes. We have a non-flashing orange light. Right, let's try and take a picture of Dave. Come on. Come on. Well, that's promising, isn't it? Right, now I expected that one to be ruined. Let's try another one. I'll print a few off, and if none of them work, then I'm just going to give this up as a bad job. Well, it's doing... They're coming out differently than those ones, aren't they? But still not coming out properly. Oh, dear. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, I can't verify whether this works or not, can I, by doing that? Because they're just not doing anything. All right, let's try a different roll of film. All right, here we go. Come on. New film. So the first one should just spit out the plastic cover, I think. Like that. And then... Does it take a picture? Here we go. No, it does not. So they're just coming out blank. Ah, I was looking at the wrong side. It is kind of there. Look, there's Dave. Yeah, I was looking at the wrong side. Oops. <laughs> so does that mean... Oh, no. Okay. Right, well, that makes more sense, doesn't it? <laughs> right, so that's what it was taking with the other one. Ah, right. I'm such an idiot. Okay, so it, it wasn't working. It was only printing out that bit of it. Let's have a look at these now. Right, there's a bit of Dave. That one's completely white. Out of focus. Bit of Dave. Bit of Dave. And that's the one I've just taken. I mean, it's not great, is it? Maybe it's the lighting in here. I'm going to turn the lights off. Right, I think they do take a while, don't they? So they, they are like proper Polaroids, these. So if we go back to that one, that is now looking better. I mean, it's still terrible, because... I don't know why Dave's in that corner. I'm sure I put him in the middle. Let's just see what these two come out like when they finally... i going to take one again with the lights on while they're developing. I'll uh, just skip ahead five minutes. Right, it's been five minutes. I can't be bothered waiting anymore. But I, th I don't think they're going to get any better than that. I mean, they're okay. They're not great. It's, it's an all right camera. Wish I hadn't bothered <laughs> fixing it, to be honest. Uh, but, you know, it's a bit of fun. My daughter might like it. Then again, she might hate it. Right, well, after all that trauma, I've only got one thing left. And that is this Instax printer thing. What's it called? Mini Link. Not looking forward to this. I'm hoping this one just works. I charged it up fully, and it does come on. Well, I'm trying to pair to it. Oh. I think it might be working. Right, it looks like I'm connected. Right, I'm determined to get a good picture of Dave, so I'm going to take one with my phone, and then we're going to print it out, hopefully, with that Instax Mini Link. Right. So it's there. We've got no film in it, have we? Let's put the old one back in that I think I might have ruined, but... Okay, let's spat the first one straight out. I'm guessing there's not going to be anything on that, but we never know. Right, let's try and print this one. Right, well, I mean, I'll leave that, but I think that's just going to be a white thing. Oh no, it is coming. It is coming. You're supposed to shake it, aren't you? No, so I think I just ruined it by shaking it. Right, well, that's not a million miles away from that, is it? So, I think that that's okay. These ones have actually started to to look even better as well, so maybe that's not so bad. Probably just need to learn how to use it properly. I think Dave's happy enough. He's had his photo taken numerous times. So that's the end of that. I'd like to say I enjoyed it, but I hated every single minute of that. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed it. Stupid printing mother... <laughs> Got your
Watch your picture. Girls on film.